<laughs> Here we are, my friends. <laughs> Ready for another tale? Yes, yes, indeed. Oh, oh, and uh, do remember to like, share, and subscribe for more tales. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't want to miss any. Yeah. Um, now, as to today, uh, well, we all know that the dog is man's best friend. But did you know that in time, we elves found a place for them in our hearts as well? Yes. And one such faithful hound is the hero of this tale. So, if you're ready, I'll tell you the tale of... Sir Jasper. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Once an age ago, near fields where farmers sow, there lies a cottage, fine but small, with its very own knight <laughs> at its call. One Sir Jasper, the bravest kind of hound, to protect his yard, he is honour bound. From chicken's coop to pig's pen, he patrols again and again, keeping all far from harm, quiet, peaceful, and oh, so calm. If ever Sir Jasper heard a cry, with great speed he would reply. Whatever that danger be, have no doubt, his warning bark would ring out. But if your motives be most pure, then your safety he would ensure. One dark night, as Jasper slept, a new danger stalked and crept. The air was filled with a fearful squawk, and towards it Jasper shot like a cork. But for all his haste and speed, he couldn't reach that hen in need. As he came to the torn-up coop, a dark figure came down its stoop. The hen clenched in his jaws. The figure ran on lightning paws. Sir Jasper knew what he should do. That dark figure oh, he must pursue. Putting his keen nose to the air, Sir Jasper would chase that fiend to its lair. From midnight to the rising dawn, Jasper's nose was pulled and drawn. Over fields and meadows, he did give chase all the way to a new and lonely place. When something strove from out the wood, cloaked in darkness as if a hood, lifting its head up high to give a <laughs> to the sky. His foe was a wolf, great in might. Sir Jasper knew he was in for a fight. For from within the wolf's darkened den, he could hear the calls of the frightened hen. No knight truly worth his keep would ever leave a maid there to weep. Sir Jasper gave his warning bark. The wolf just gave a rude remark. Then proclaimed himself, wolf here! The fearsome robber with his evil sneer. Both canines circled round their foe, seeking a weakness to bring them woe. Snarling and growling, they came to blows, bravely battling on as the bright sun rose. After painful hours of this fearsome fight, brave Sir Jasper made it right. He threw the wolf onto his back to prevent any further attack. Sir Jasper pressed upon his throat, but being gallant, he didn't gloat. He gave Wolfear his chance to yield, and with honour to quit the field. Jasper turned, Wolfear raised a clear, seeking to make our dog no more. But sensing this treacherous attack, just in time, Jasper turns back, and with a kick to Wolfie's snout, the wolf is nearly knocked clean out. Staggering back, he knows he's through. To run is all that he can do. Sir Jasper waits until he's fled from sight, then brings the hen back to the light.
So now the word is spread far and wide. Be you wolf, fox, or weasel. From Sir Jasper, you cannot hide. <laughs> Isn't that Sir Jasper as noble and brave as any knight of man or elf? <laughs> you see, what makes a knight truly is putting yourself to the hazard for others, especially for those who can't themselves. But now I want to hear your inspired stories of great deeds of courage. So get your elder there to email me at bard.elven.tales at gmail.com so I can give them the real bardic treatment. <laughs> and do also remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. It's all very greatly appreciated, believe me. And now, I'll see you soon for more Bard Elven Tales. <laughs>